Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today we are going to be continuing our journey and finishing season five today with the Big Bang Theory. I'm excited for this. I can't wait to see how this is going to end. This is going to be maybe my favorite three of the season just because usually the season finales are the best ones for me. But we're going to have a fun time with this. So if you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me. And now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's check out the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> what the hell is going on with him? I wish you could all be inside my head. <laughs> the conversation is sparkling. <laughs> If you could merge with another species, what species would you pick and why? Hint, there is a right answer. Is there? None of you will get it. Okay, um, I'd pick swan because uh, the resulting hybrid would have the advanced industrial civilization of a human and the long graceful neck I've always dreamed of having. Okay. Well, kangaroo. Uh, I'd be a uh, kangajoo. <laughs> the first of my people to dunk a basketball. And Howard is the first one to make me die laughing a little bit inside. <laughs> Clever, but also wrong. No, the best organism for human beings to merge with is the lichen itself. That way you'd be human, fungus, and algae. See, I thought he was going to pull a Dr. Cotter's and he was going to say the lizard like that. Yeah, like Amazing Spider-Man 2. Or no, the first one, not the second one. I have a terrific view growing out of a towering maple tree. And no thank you expensive concessions, because as an algae, I'll just snack on this sunlight. Okay. Once again, no, he didn't. <laughs> anyway, if it's okay with you, we should talk about Howard's bachelor party. One agency I spoke to said they can get us a great price if we're flexible on age range and number of limbs. <laughs> Sounds like loads of fun, but... Uh... Please tell me that they're going age up and not age down, because that's not good. What can I tell you? I'm not into that stuff anymore. Good for you, Howard. I'm proud of Howard, you. Howard, Howard changed. one of us to get married. We have to do something special. Do you know Germans have an interesting pre-wedding custom? <laughs> Probably not for me. You travel through the vineyards, there's a tasting on board, and all the wild flowers are in bloom. Magic. <laughs> Look at that. In 30 seconds, we went from hiring women to being them. <laughs> hey, I'm with Raj. There's a lot of fun things to do at Napa Valley. Aries, come join me. Come on. Come on. I'm watching Big Bang Theory up so, on the bed. I hear you and the Lost uh, Boys are having a bachelor party tonight. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't that make you a little jealous? Oh, come on, Leonard, it's you. What's going to happen? <laughs> I mean, even if there was a stripper, all you do is avoid eye contact and maybe yep. offer to help her kid with his homework. <laughs> hey, I am a young man in his sexual prime. I'm capable of just really crazy stuff. No, he's not. And the time you and I had sex in the ocean does not count. Oh, come on, that's got to count. That sounds like a lot of fun. It's a really strong undertone. In we the ocean? <laughs> well, have fun tonight. Oh, I will. There is no telling what might happen. Hey, I got a hand up to Raj. He found a really nice spot to have a bachelor party. It's not bad. Unless you compare it to a train, and then it stinks. Why is Sheldon dressed like a picnic table? Are you drinking whiskey? I must embrace all its components, including tobacco, swear words, and yes, alcohol. <laughs> Jeepers, that's yucky. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me why that's me drinking whiskey, <laughs> like literally. Who's your friend in this group? Oh, I'm friends with Howard too. Oh, I guess you're just friends with anybody. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not that serious. Hey, uh, Leonard, things are a little tight at the comic book store. I might need some help covering my share of the check. The bachelor boy has arrived. <laughs> oh, for he's a jolly good fellow. He's a jolly good fellow, he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. Yes, 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 he's a jolly good fellow. What time did the swippers arrive? Ah, uh, what the frig did I get $200 in singles out for? <laughs> you want to buy a watch? This is made of... Stewart should be checked on more often. He should get checked on. With a beautiful, radiant young woman and her friend who's about to get married. 
Ladies, can you tell us what you're doing? <laughs> and then for Howie's relatives, we have antihistamines, antacids, and medicine for diarrhea and constipation. They yeah, had to go we there. them stop and go. <laughs> <laughs> On your wedding night, you'll be consummating your marriage. What do you think your first sexual position will be as husband and wife? Oh my God. Baby, please. Keeping in mind that whoever's on top may set the tone for the marriage. <laughs> okay, show's over. Plus, he set up our beautiful wedding website with cute little facts about our family histories. Do you know for a while in Poland, my family and his family were neighbors? Oh, that's cool. No, it's not. I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's a good idea. If <laughs> that's a good thing, actually. May I have your attention, please? Does anyone have any words they'd like to say about a man of the evening? <laughs> I do. Oh, oh and God. Here's the tradition, I Anybody a but him. Of disrespectful jokes, which generate humor at Howard's expense. I've always thought <laughs> that you'd make someone a fine husband someday. Assuming you'd be able to get the parts and develop the engineering skills to assemble them, which I don't see as likely. Hacha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Okay, kidding aside. <laughs> Howard, you are a good friend, and I wish you nothing but happiness. Bazinga, I don't. <laughs> so, Howard Wallowitz tying the knot. <laughs> Leaving his crazy bachelor days behind, he was a wild one. <laughs> I guess we all kind of were. <laughs> I remember this one time. Uh, I was with this girl at the beach. Oh, we God. In the ocean, and we started making out. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. I totally had sex in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll go. I'm going to make a toast in a minute. Just wait. I got it. I got one. Look at you. You have everything. Look at me, I'm 37. I sleep in the back of a comic book store and I have the bone density of an 80 year old man. Oh my God. Howard, I'm gonna say something to you that everybody's thinking, but no one has the courage to say out loud. Oh when no. When you invite a man to a bachelor party, the yep, implication here it is. is there will be strippers. <laughs> yeah, maybe not completely nude, but at least pasties and G-swings. That's not unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, this grasshopper is kicking my ass. You know what? <laughs> before before he goes and ruins this entire thing, because I see that that's exactly where this is going, because it's Raj. I would like to make a toast to the character known as Howard. All right. Let me tell you something. I was wrong about this guy from the very beginning of the show. I thought he was the most over the top misogynistic man I had ever seen in a TV show or even in person. Um. And it's been really cool seeing this journey that he's going on, you know, and seeing how different his character development has been and led him to the person that I am assuming he's going to spend the rest of his life with. And it's just very awesome to see the character development. I think that Howard went from being my least favorite character to probably my first favorite character. Which takes a lot for me to say that, but I think it's true. Like, I think he is my favorite person to watch because out of all of them, he is the one whose character development has just been consistent and consistent and consistent and just never went backwards. Even when he hurt Bernadette by having sex with that troll in World of Warcraft. <laughs> There's supposed to be a laugh track there, so maybe I'll get my editor to do that one. Um, but, <laughs> but... Even when he did that, he knew he was wrong and he went and fixed it and everything went to the way that it was supposed to be. So here's to Howard in that respect for being the best character on Big Bang Theory. That's all I got to say. I didn't know how to behave or how to dress or what was cool. I was pretty lonely. but You still are. <laughs> then I met Howard and suddenly my life changed <clears throat> because we could be lonely together. <laughs> I'm not done, but thank you. That's not where I thought this was going to go. Think back. <laughs> to all the good times we had, like uh, when we went camping and spent that night telling each other all our secrets. He told me he lost his virginity to his cousin. <laughs> okay, don't be telling people this stuff. She's my second cousin. <laughs> and the first woman you ever disappointed sexually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
bird humping hooker stories? That one's my favorite. Okay, Raj, Raj, okay, sit down, it. sit down. Yeah. Oh, 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 what about that, that tubby girl in the Sailor Moon costume at Comic Con? Sit down, sit down, Raj. Uh, oh, oh, don't Raj, get me wrong. Raj. Something happened with me and Howard. There was about 200 pounds of Sailor Moon between us. <laughs> Jeepers, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you oh, for picking no. us up. There's a warning right there on the scotch bottle. You cannot be operating heavy machinery after you've had a snoot full of this, laddie. <laughs> Why is Bernadette upset? Why is she upset? Funny. You boys have a nice time? Yeah, it was great. Low key, like I promised, no hanky panky, no strippers, just the guys telling jokes. And then went online and saw this. Uh oh. Of all the Howard humping hooker stories, that one's my favorite. <laughs> oh no. You know, we're not that far from my apartment. If you stop the car, I can walk from here. <laughs> You lied to me. You said you told me about all the girls you've been with, but you never mentioned your cousin, the prostitute, or Raj. Seriously, you don't even have to stop the car. Anything under 10 miles an hour, and I can combat roll into the street. But shame on you, Raj. That is not how we treat women in this country. Oh. Uh. Don't you try and blame this on him. Thank you, Bernadette. Zip it, pervert! <laughs> Oh no. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm curious what's bothering you most. The borderline incest, the prostitute, or group sex with the girl dressed as the children's cartoon? <laughs> Probably all three. Hey, remember when we went over things that would be helpful and things that wouldn't? Right. I first met Howard, he seems so innocent to me. He's just a sweet little guy who lives with his mother. Well, if that's what you like, I'll take you to the comic book store. The place is full of them. <laughs> Did uh -oh. you know about all the creepy stuff he was into? Oh, no. A little you hear stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Well, I was gonna, but I didn't think it would go past the first date. And when it did, I thought for sure it wouldn't go past you meeting his mother. I thought you were my friend. <laughs> I don't think that was helpful. <laughs> Hey, Bernie, it's me again. Please call me back. Here. What is this? You're upset. The convention is to bring an upset person a hot beverage. No, but what is it? Chicken broth. It seemed culturally appropriate. Why? So there was a single cube of chicken bouillon in the cupboard when I moved in. It's been bothering me for the last eight years. So, as I say, two birds. Well, Howard, I don't know much about women. Yeah. No, uh, that... That's it. I don't know much about it. <laughs> you said it like you were going to continue Raj, the statement. Got <laughs> I've got the phone number of the tubby girl from Comic-Con. Come out, Bernadette. Let's talk through this. No, leave me alone. Perhaps you should give him a taste of his own medicine. Do you have a cousin who you find attractive? Oh, my God, Amy. Amy. I understand hey, you you're, like, you're... Bag. I'm just trying to clean up your mess. <laughs> well, I don't think she wants to talk to anyone right now. All right. Well, could you at least give her a message? Yeah, sure, I guess. Tell her I'm really sorry, and if she doesn't want to marry me, I get it. But the reason is because of her. So if this relationship is over, let her know that she made me a better man. Tell her thank you. <laughs> Penny. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. And it came out of you. <laughs> I told you the man's character development is the best. It's amazing. Your voice not unlike your mother's travels through walls. <laughs> Do you want me to go? No. Come here. Anything else about your past I should know? A couple of things, but most of them happened overseas. I'll tell you later. <laughs> what? Now, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> so, is the wedding still on? 
Yeah. Hello. Oh no, what are you doing? What's with the robe? I'm going to have sex with you right here, right now, on that washing machine. <laughs> what is happening? No, you're not. <laughs> Folding sheet, my underwear. Still pretty crazy. <laughs> Howard Wallowitz. Hey, Howard. Dave Broger here at NASA. We need to talk about your upcoming mission. Yes, uh -oh. yes, I've been doing my push-ups. <laughs> I'm still stuck at nine, but... You can't even make it to ten, and at it's least? It's going all the way down with no one holding me. Your Soyuz capsule failed the pressurization test, so bottom line, the mission's been scrubbed. What? You're kidding, so what does that mean? Uh-huh. Uh huh. I tell you, I'm really disappointed. This was my dream ever since I was a little kid. Okay, uh, thanks for the call. Yeah, you too. Yes, thank you! Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna die in space! Ooh, I'm gonna die the way God intended, in my late 50s with a heart full of pastrami. This one's a little tight under the arms. Okay. What is happening right now? Think maybe it's tight because you're wearing long underwear? Yes, of course that's why it's tight. <laughs> All right, let me rephrase the question. Why are you wearing long underwear? You're kidding. Shouldn't the question be, why aren't you? <laughs> These rental tuxedos have been worn by hundreds of sweaty strangers. Yeah, I don't like my own sweat touching my skin. How do you think I feel about theirs? <laughs> why don't you slip this on? Said the hangman offering a noose. My orders have been rescinded. I am officially no go to space. I'm sorry, Howard. But I gotta tell you, I'm a little relieved you're not going. Why? Come on, you were gonna go up in a rocket designed in the 1960s by the Russians. Yeah, True. So? When was the last time you were at Best Buy and heard someone say, ooh, check out this Blu-ray player. It must be good. It was built in Russia. When you come back to Earth in a Soyuz capsule, you free fall from space at 500 miles per hour. And the only thing that slows you down is a little parachute that pops out right before you crash into the ground. And the whole thing was designed by the same brilliant minds who are unable to capture Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, whatever. But there's only one of us here brave enough to almost do what I almost did. That's much better. Oh, my God. You must be burning up. A little. But not more than your urethras will be after whatever's in those pants swims up them. <laughs> oh, a tissue! A tissue! Oh, good Lord! Uh, where's he going? He keeps emergency Purell in the car. Keys! 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 <laughs> It's the gas I use in my free electron laser to support high voltages, but it also has an interesting secondary use. Here, read this in. But before I do it, if you're a cop, you have to tell me, right? <laughs> Isn't it helium? What's it supposed to? Oh my god, this is so. <laughs> it made her voice deeper. You are a mean one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> We've been taking things slow. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been thinking, and maybe I'm ready to take things a little faster. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. So we won't let it get weird. Okay. Oh, and just a heads up, mm, since the last time you saw me naked, I got a cookie monster tattoo. <laughs> the acceptable responses when you see it are awesome or nothing. What about... <laughs> Seven o'clock, right on time. It's not an accident. I waited outside your door for 20 minutes. Well, didn't Why? Was almost ready. I must say, I was surprised you chose to spend our date night in your apartment. But as I mentioned, the Pasadena City Council is debating longer crosswalk times. The Lego store is having a midnight madness sale. Okay, yeah, that sounds a little bit more fun. <laughs> Tempting choices, but I have something special planned for tonight. What uh -oh. can be more special than having an adequate amount of time to cross the street on your way to buy a tiny Lego Indiana Jones? And now I'm in your apartment after dark. 
How much faster can this thing go? <laughs> I had a feeling you'd be reluctant, which is why I'm going to dip into my neurobiological bag of tricks. Oh, you brain monkeys kill me. Dip away. Human beings form emotional attachments as they grow up. In your case, to your mother, superheroes, etc. I'm going to attempt an experiment that will get you to transfer those feelings to me. Let's start with a little romantic dinner music, shall we? Super Mario Brothers theme. <laughs> yes. I see what you're doing. You're attempting to build on the work of Ebbinghaus by triggering an involuntary memory of me playing that game. There's no reason we still can't have a lovely dinner. Why don't you have a seat? But I don't dun 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 boy, boy. <laughs> May I offer you something to drink? You know I don't drink. Not even strawberry quick. Oh my god. I love strawberry quick. Uh, narrowly beating out Pepto Bismol. Yeah, I was gonna say, that oh, looked like Pepto Bismol. I think it will go nicely with what I have prepared for dinner. Spaghetti with little pieces of hot dog cut up in it. We should do this more often. <laughs> See? She's got ya. <laughs> People say weird things during sex all the time. Okay. What'd you well, say? Sure as hell, don't say that. Well, just the heat of the moment. No, the heat of the moment is, oh yeah, just like that. Not, will you marry me? I'm oh. sorry, just, just give me another chance. Why, so you can crawl under the covers and go, hey baby, you wanna go look for houses and neighborhoods with good schools? <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm sorry. At, at some point, we'll look back and this is going to be a funny story. Why don't we just start doing that now? <laughs> You're kidding. Well, oh. do you remember that time when I proposed to you in bed? <laughs> and you were all like, what? I'll tell you this though, whenever I propose to somebody, it's gonna be classy, it's gonna be elegant, and it's gonna be very memorable, and YouTube is gonna see it. That little smile I see there? I should go. <laughs> I was thinking, for our first dance at the wedding, what if we learned the final number from Dirty Dancing? You're kidding. No, come on. You lifting me up into the air. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Oh, you're in a good mood. Yeah, well, why wouldn't I be? I'm marrying the girl of my dreams and finally got my mother to agree not to come on our honeymoon. <laughs> I'm so glad that that happened. Oh, hi, Dave. What's up? No kidding, really? Well, that's great news. <laughs> great, great news. Talk soon. He's gonna cry. What's so great? It looks like I'm going into space after all. <laughs> Kelly, that's wonderful. Uh-huh, wonderful. <laughs> NASA really wants my telescope up on the space station, so they're putting me on an earlier launch. When? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, a week from Friday. That's before the wedding. Getting married that Sunday. I can't go to space. I oh, have no. to get married. No one can say that's not a good reason. I'll call him back. Wait, I don't want to be the one who stands in your way. Well, too bad. You already did. It's a done deal. Oh, well, but I forget. What about all the plans and the guests? We'll call them. Although my dad's gonna go a little nuts over losing his deposits. You're right, he is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your dad's gonna be furious. There's oh, no way no. he's gonna let us postpone this wedding while we try. I, I should talk to him, man to man. Howie, my dad could be a bully. He's gonna make you cancel your space flight. We can only hope that he doesn't. <laughs> Night takes Bishop. You all right? I'm fine. <laughs> nope, he's you? thinking about Amy. You left your queen exposed from above. You trapped your knight in the corner, and you keep sighing and saying, why me? Can I ask you a question about women? I got you that book last year. Wasn't everything in there? <laughs> No, I'm having a relationship problem with Amy. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I screwed things up pretty good with Penny. 
Look at us, Leonard. Engaging in the social convention of men belly aching about their old ladies. <laughs> I guess we are. So, what's going on? Amy has embarked on a campaign to increase my feelings for her yep. by making me happy. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be how that works? I'm sorry, that must be very difficult for you. <laughs> it's awful, and it gets worse. Her efforts are causing me to have affectionate feelings for her at inappropriate times. You mean like in bed or in the shower? No, this morning. I was calculating the random motion of virtual particles in a vacuum when suddenly the particles morphed into an image of Amy's dandruff gently cascading down onto her pale, slightly hunched shoulders. Oh, Did I hear that right? Done to me, Leonard. <laughs> Am I, I hearing this right? So that's how this works. I complain and then you complain and no one offers any solutions. <laughs> Pretty kind much. of. <laughs> well, no wonder the women are winning. Busy? Oh, goodness. That guy I'm has so many guns. Some old pictures. Come on in. Family pictures? <laughs> Holy crap, that's a dead person. <laughs> oh, God, this Last guy went to war. Before I retired. Oh, no, never mind. I'm sorry. He's, he was a cop. There. Careful. How about that? <laughs> anyway, sir, I need to talk to you about something. Walnut. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> No, thank you. I'm allergic. Oh, sure. Any man that can crush walnuts with his bare hands are very, very strong people, and I'm very scared. The reason I wanted to talk to you is NASA has moved up my launch to the International Space Station. Yeah, so? Well, so the date is going to conflict with me marrying your daughter. Now, I know what you're going to say. I made a commitment to Bernadette and to your family, and I've got a hell of a lot of nerve coming in here and demanding that we postpone this thing. May I be excused? <laughs> No, you may not. Let me tell you something. When I first met you, you just gonna stand there? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know. It was just going to, well, I should sit. Or may I be seated? Well, I'll just sit. <laughs> to be honest, I thought Bernadette chose you to punish me. <laughs> but then I heard about your astronaut thing, and I realized I judged you too fast. Maybe you are the right guy for my little girl. Oh, I am. No, no, you gotta go. You can't turn down an opportunity like this. No, but what about the wedding? And all the money you put down for the reception? You let me worry about that. You go up to that space station and you make me proud. How did I know he was gonna do that? <laughs> Howard's gonna cry! It's gonna be okay, son. Aww. You really think so? Of course. A pretty girl like Bernadette, she'll find a new guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on! This is not what I expected that guy to say. I thought he was going to be like, your family now, so <laughs> you're going to be all right. You'll come back. And instead... <laughs> He looks at him with that huge, like, serious, serious, sinister look on his face and goes, well, Bernadette's a pretty girl and she'll find somebody new. <laughs> he looks like a lumberjack. He should go back to cutting trees down. Penny, but just wait. I've been thinking about what I said when we were in bed the other night. Yeah, I've been thinking about it, too. I noticed you never answered me. Uh-oh. You're right. Was that be a no? No. I have a couple more quick questions. You want to call me from the car? No! <laughs> that played that pretty well. Hey, at least you didn't lose her. Hello, Leonard. What are you doing? We're playing doctor. <laughs> Star Trek style. I'm in hell, Leonard. I'm uncomfortable with this. Don't stop. <laughs> oh boy. Hey Mike? Yeah. I changed my mind. I don't want to do this. 
Good one. Yeah, I'm a funny guy. Plan for later where I pretend to cry through the whole launch. <laughs> <laughs> channel is nasa tv 289 right between the game show network at 288 and the east coast feed of the disney channel on 290 i love his eidetic memory it's so sexy <laughs> dried potatoes vegetable oil corn flour wheat starch maltodextrin salt and my favorite ingredient of all uniformity <laughs> it quivers does it not <laughs> there's howard's rock in just under a half hour 200 metric tons of fuel will ignite in a controlled explosion right beneath howard's keister <laughs> And all from a country whose entire contribution to the global economy has been Tetris and mail order brides. Okay, we're in the final countdown. How you doing over there? Good, good. A quick question, I missed it in the briefing. How much urine do these suits hold? Howard's gonna cry. He calls you Fruit Loops because of your very gay haircut. <laughs> No, but no, I just realized that. Because I live with my mom and she makes me Fruit Loops. Go with gay story. People are more accepting of that. You know, actually, ironically, actually, that's probably Fruit true. Loops just got married to a girl. Congratulations. Thanks. We decided to do it before the launch. Wait, what? Not exactly. Listen, if you don't mind, I'm not really up for chatting. I'm just going to sit here quietly and let my life flash before my eyes. Wait, so they had the wedding already and we're not going to oh, get to see really it? Really quick, let me try it again. A little star, it's beautiful. <laughs> Put it on me. Okay, but I'm going to have to get it back from you so I can take it to the International Space Station. That way, when I come home, you will have a star that was actually in space. <laughs> oh, that's, that's kind of that sweet, actually. Do you <laughs> oh, when I eat Fruit Loops, the other astronauts make fun of me. Howard, I don't want to wait until you're back to get married. What? But I'm leaving in two days. What about Applejack? I don't need to take cereal. What kind of breakfast do you think they're going to give you in Russia? You know, I'm not going to... Ceremony with just our friends, and we'll still have the big reception with everyone when you get back. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, let's get married. <laughs> Do we get to see it at least? I'll buy you all brand in case you get stopped up and out of space. Oh my god. <laughs> His mom means well, that's the most important part. No, this is not the wedding I wanted. <laughs> maid of honor dress and walk down the aisle with a hundred eyes on me while a string quartet plays the way you look tonight that wasn't gonna be our procession on you. well it was gonna be mine <laughs> come on sheldon it'll be fun that's what you said about the green lantern movie let's not you speak about that movie 14 minutes of wrong so what do you say amy can i wear my maid of honor dress Seriously, you're gonna wear that thing to City Hall? It's all I have left. You're gonna take that from me, too? Oh, God. <laughs> With the tiara and everything. Amy, you look great. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get a beer? Beautiful story. They're in rival drug gangs, and they're getting married. <laughs> Shh. No one can know. What is this? The story of Lion King 2? We, we can't be... No. <laughs> we don't recreate that. You proposed to Penny? I don't want to talk about it. Where did he pop the question? What did you say? He said no. Can we drop it now? It wasn't a real proposal. I wasn't a real proposal. He asked her during coitus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ma. Bernadette. Ma Ber you're my Bernadette. <laughs> Good move, telling Sheldon. <laughs> well, I can't propose. I can't talk to my friends. Is there anything else I'm not allowed to do? All right, that's enough. Today is about Howard and Bernadette and me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your 
attention. It's five o'clock. We're gonna be able to take three more couples. The rest of you will have to come back on Monday. I'm an astronaut, and <laughs> I'm leaving for Russia on Sunday, so I can take a Soyuz rocket to the International Space Station. I thought it was Friday. Uh, me too. I'll see you there. <laughs> I can't believe we're not gonna get married. I'm gonna go see if the couple at the front of the line needs a maid of honor. <laughs> oh my God, really? <laughs> Amy. Shouldn't you guys be talking about space stuff instead of dogs? Dimitri, Fruit Loops would be more comfortable if we talked about space stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm going into space. And when I come back, I have to pick up a poodle crap. You know, we could always drive to Vegas and get married. No, isn't that kind of tacky? Hey, I know tons of people who got married in Vegas. Are any of them still married? Yeah. I mean, not to the same people, but... There's gotta be someplace special we could do it. Hey, where did you envision marrying Penny? <laughs> Can we drop Will this already? Literally. Like, come on, man, read the room. I know Sheldon I know doesn't have the EQ I level for that, but still. The wedding from the sound of music. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you made that brutally clear to me. The Google satellite will be over Pasadena. You can have your wedding photographed from space. That's oh, so cool. Oh, oh, way to go, Raj. I keep telling you, if I wasn't an astrophysicist, I would have been a party planner. I could see it. It was always a coin flip. I can't believe my maid of honor dress is going to be on Google Earth. <laughs> Why is it so Amy? Where and the when, but we still need to figure out who's gonna do the ceremony. Well, that's easy. Anyone can go online and get ordained as a minister. Leaking? What's leaking? Fuel. Shh. Don't lose your fruit loops, fruit loops. <laughs> this happens a lot. Nine times out of ten, no problem. What happens on the tenth time? Problem. <laughs> Problem. <laughs> Fantastic Four, annual number three from 1965 in mint condition. The one where Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Girl get married. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. Of course he's gonna complain about it. I was it. afraid of this. What? I bought you and Bernadette a gravy boat worth $88. <laughs> Which places me in your debt, and I can't be in your debt because someday you might ask me to help you move. <laughs> or to kill a man. Oh my god, why are those the I only two I'll options? I'll ask you to kill a man. I bought a card, give me two dollars. <laughs> For the record, this is why I hate gift giving. <laughs> He's a funny guy, Sheldon. He is a funny guy. Why can't she drive herself? She doesn't want to sit in her dress and wrinkle it, so I'm going to lay her down in the back of my neighbor's van. <laughs> All right, just hurry. Okay. I'll... I wish we could see this. Oh, my God. He just said, Ma. You could hear that, but I could hear it. I... <laughs> How big is his mother? Like, I want to know, because this is ridiculous. They're picturing... They're making me think of like a 400 pound woman. Uh, oh. <clears throat> okay, now we're ready. Ma, you wanna move your chair over here so you can see? I'm fine where I am. I don't wanna fall off the roof. <laughs> fall They're in the, the middle of it. Before you fall off it. <laughs> your new mother-in-law's a piece of work. <laughs> now, Dad. She's got a bigger mustache than me. Oh my god! <laughs> Here you go. Here you go? What am I, a football? <laughs> like that guy could catch a football. <laughs> <laughs> Howard and Bernadette, the five of us stand before you as your friends and newly ordained ministers. They're all marrying us! It's adorable! If you want to hear, come closer! <laughs> <laughs> when I look at the two of you starting your lives together, it fills my heart. Raj, come on, I man. Need a minute. Okay, I'll, I'll go. <clears throat> Howard and Bernadette, I know you two plan on getting married in a big fancy wedding, but when you're in love, it doesn't matter where or how these things happen. 
It just matters that you have each other. And now Leonard's looking and thinking about it. Oh no. <laughs> I think the Reverend Hofstadter is making an <laughs> ironic connection between your statement about love and your rejection of his proposal in the bedroom. Oh, girl, I, I didn't say it. All right, that's enough from the both of you. Well, he started it. Well, I'm ending it. Good job, baby. Bernadette, I want to thank you for allowing me to be your maid of honor. I also want you to know that I will be happy to do it again if this marriage craps out. <laughs> What in the world? Amy, I love you, but this is not okay. Like, you can't Thank do you, this. Amy. Qualities that are hard to find in people these days. <laughs> Would you like some aloe vera? You just got burned. <laughs> All right. Dach, Dach, Shelton, I told you don't cling on. Fine, I'll do it in English. The need to find another human being to share one's life with has always puzzled me. <laughs> Maybe because I'm so interesting all by myself. <laughs> with that being said, may you find as much happiness with each other as I find on my own. Like you, this is going to be short and sweet. <laughs> I love you with all my heart and soul and promise to be with you forever. Bernadette, Marianne, Rostenkowski. Speak up! Hey, from now on, she's the only woman who can yell at me! <laughs> I couldn't imagine spending my life with just one person. <laughs> and now I can't imagine spending one day of it without you. By the power vested in us, by the state of California and the Klingon High Council. <laughs> Bernadette's gonna kill him. husband and wife. Yay! Oh boy, here we go. I love this part. Me too. I have strongly mixed feelings. <laughs> Oh my God, it's happening. Love that man. Me too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't believe it. This is it. Boldly go, Howard Wallowitz. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, everybody, that was the end of season five and they are finally married. That's what I've been waiting for <laughs> this whole time. I'm so glad that they did. It's been a heck of a journey with the show so far. I don't know why I'm saying this like the show's over. We, we still have like six seasons at least to do. I think it's actually seven. I, I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly how many seasons there are. I think there's like 11. But I can't wait to continue with this and start season six. Things are getting really, really, really spicy between Penny and Leonard and, oh my god, I woke my dog up, um, between Penny and Leonard, and I wonder if things are going to be better next season or if they're going to get more awkward next season. I don't know. And I am holding out hope that maybe Raj will actually meet somebody soon because that boy needs a break. But if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.